Okay. Um, try to keep up to date with all the work I'm doing on the Chinese Les Paul. Uh, let's see. Well, first things first. Okay. I put a new uh, black cap on instead of the cream colored one. All right. Come to find, I could fit a black disc on the uh, three way. It says rhythm and the treble. Normally, you can't fit one of those on there because the shafts of these things aren't long enough for that to fit underneath the uh, uh, lock nut. Okay. Uh, on these uh, uh, pickups, uh, the way they came, I've got adjustments on these uh, front ones. Okay. You can see slot screw marks on in the black uh, pickup section. So I can get it slow down enough to focus. Those are individual adjustments, okay, that come with pickups. Now, for some reason, unbeknownst to me, these don't have it on the bridge pickups. They never did. And originally, these came with the, uh, oh, the uh, uh, black ones here. And uh, these and the bridge, as you see them, I switched the bridge around. Uh, and basically, I got a better sound out of it, out of the guitar. Uh, with the configuration you see now. So I just put them back the way they, way it came. Okay. Also, I changed out the uh, Chinese uh, black top hat uh, or gold top hat knob for these black ones. Uh, it's because you can read them better. Okay. The, the ones from China, uh, you can barely read uh, what the heck number you're playing on without uh, bringing the car, guitar up to your face. Uh, it's just almost impossible. You know, most Les Pauls, um, you know, even the gold color ones are very clear and distinct. Uh, at least the ones I have are. Um, for example, here's a uh, here's an old style, ten year old uh, top hat. You can probably clearly see the one, two, three on it. But on the Chinese ones, you can't see anything but just a slash, you know, mark unless you hold them up, you know, to your face. So those get changed out to the black ones I can see. Or I may order some cream colored ones to go along with this, uh, these plastic uh, pickup uh, supports. And put a cream uh, knob on this and a disc here as well to get the overall look for the guitar. Okay. Now, everybody tells me, well, you know, Dave, you know. Shit, it's not what it looks like, it's what it plays like and sounds like, and you suck as a guitarist anyway. I said, well, yeah, that's all true, guys, but, you know, who wouldn't want to have a nice playing guitar and have it look good, too, okay? So, uh, this particular Les Paul, and, oh, shoot, you know, most people call these things Fibsons, F-I-B-S-O-N, Fibson, because it's a fake Gibson, okay? Well, I've got a better name for these things other than a Fibson, and it identifies them very well for, the, for everyone thinking or talking about it. It's normally, if you own a Les Paul and you talk about Les Pauls, you call them Lesters. It's a nickname, it's short for Les Paul, okay? Lester. Well, these are from China. Okay, so I'm going to start the new factory term is called Chester. The new industry term for these Les Pauls from China that are fakes, not a Fibson, it's a Chester. Or maybe a Fibson Chester. Okay, a Fibson Chester. Makes sense? Probably not, but hell, it makes sense to me. And I'm about as crazy as it gets. Anyway, I want this thing to sound good and play well and look good, okay? Uh, I got the buzz out of the frets. Okay, most of it, 99% of it. On a few notes, individual notes, up the uh, neck, there's a little bit of buzz. But you won't pick up on the pickups, but I can hear it without the pickups on, okay? And listen to this and see what you think.
also tested the uh, the pickups on this to see what type of numbers they were putting out. Okay, on the uh, front uh, pickup, I was putting out 16. Now, on pickups, uh, the number of the, the ohms that uh, resistance you get, uh, 20 is considered great on a on a, on a, um, a humbucker. 10 for a fender, obviously. Uh, unfortunately, this is 16. This is 15. Okay, and uh, why it's so is because of the wrappings, which done, blah blah blah. And uh, now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put new potentiometers on this thing, uh, which you know it's not exactly going to help with the numbers that the the uh, um, pickups put out. It won't help at all. But it should make it overall sound better. Okay. And there's a short in this particular switch uh, that uh, it should be controlling uh, volume uh, on uh, uh, both these uh, 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 pickups with the proper settings. And uh, actually, it dies to whereas I believe on the treble position, you have no control of the volume whatsoever. It's whatever the pre previous setting was, it's set for good. Okay? But anyway. Uh, that's why I got so far. I'm gonna put these four new, or simply you, <laughs> these used potentiometers into the guitar, okay? And they were used because I uh, soldered them up and put them into a different guitar, okay? Now I used them for about a week, took them back out again. The problem is these are long shaft potentiometers, okay? And Unless you have a very thick guitar body, you got a problem. Now what I want to do is to either solder this spot here so this won't go up and down anymore and it'll stay static, or use some liquid Loctite where this won't move again either. It's a chemical that you can use to lock down uh, washers and such. And uh, of course before that I need to take off all the junk that I left on there for the last times I've used these these pickups twice and I get them cleaned back up now to do that you've got to take off the uh, cap to, to the pot and you'll see here I don't know if you can point them out or not but there's a little bitty claws there's one right there if you carefully bend it back right there's all four of them you bend them back you can take this entire body off and clean it up without damaging what's inside of it. Okay, these particular potentiometers you cannot change the shaft out because they're not built that way. Okay. Also, I'll be using uh, shielded wire, shielded uh, single strand uh, a guitar wire for this job. But I'll also have be using heat shrink on the shielded wire, not to make it cleaner looking. It actually makes it dirtier, more work. But unfortunately, since the potentiometers are so close to one another, that if this wire strays and is pushed down against one of the other potentiometers, it creates a short because it's metal. It's a metal casing. Now, normally, well, actually, a very good shielded wire compared to this crappy stuff I got from Musician's Friends uh, will have a plastic coating on it as well to avoid that very same mistake or problem. You know, it's already known to them, so they don't sell that. But not according to them, okay? You have to ask very specifically for it, and when you ask, they tell you, we don't have any. We don't stock that, okay? Which is what a jerk. Now, uh, also, uh, I'll be replacing the three-way on this particular guitar because it's screwed up. Uh, if you actually uh, twist it or turn it, uh, it just completely cuts completely out to where it's not working any, no, any longer. It's like, well, okay, good, there's a big short in it somewhere, bad wiring. So to avoid any of that you know, problem in the future, I'm just going to change it to a new three-way. Now, this is one of the three-ways I bought, and I got this particular one from Guitar Center. And believe it or not, this three-way took two and a half months to get this thing in two and a half months unbelievable but anyway they told me to take two and a half weeks 
then every two and a half weeks after that, for two and a half months, they promised me next week, next week, next week. So finally I said, you know, you guys are just lying to me. You have no idea when this is coming in Guitar Center, do you? And finally, my, my gripes and complaints got to the manager, and he, get, he offers me $65 in compensation for all the trouble I've gone through. And then, brother, this thing put off, you know, worked like crazy. I've got others now. But anyway, finally, I get it in. I get it on the other guitar, and it's fine. Uh, so I got $65 laying around at the guitar center that I don't want to spend it on myself uh, because they're jerks and I'm um, telling everybody they're, they're jerks but what I might do is buy something from there and put it up for auction or put it up for a, a giveaway on this web okay some guitar part that everybody wants to use or whatever you know and that's what I'll do next is find out who uses what and what they need this is actually the three I'll put in here okay this one and I got that from all parts okay a little five dollar nice you know three-way okay and I bought all new springs for the uh, Chester because the springs it came with were already broken and bowed and uh, believe it or not guys they were worn out imagine actually uh, shipping worn out springs you know cheap ass you know uh, these things cost uh, 25 35 cents maybe in China a dollar here they actually sent broken springs with this guitar for the um, uh, pickup uh, adjustments I couldn't believe it's like shit how cheap can you get now this is a 15 year old uh, top hat controller and you can read on that. It's a four and a five. I can read that. Uh, looking through the camera, and from here, I can see the other side of it. Oh, let's see if I can get one of those. One from China. It's unbelievable. I can't barely see what the hell it is. I think this one's from China. Okay, now I can personally see it. Um, but on the guitar, you can't see it because it's so light. It's just it's just solid white on the guitar. But I can see now with the camera, you can see it pretty easily. But uh, not to the naked eye, you can't. And the difference is not that much between these, these uh, particular ones. Let's see. Now, can you tell me which one is the uh, China one and which ones are the uh, original Gibsons anyway that's it for now uh, I'll play a few notes on this guitar and get busy working on it have a good one